think I just lost the sun. That's how long this is taking. Lucky for you, you will get a clipped down version of the pain and sorrow and suffering that I've been going through, learning how to do this. I've tried to at least streamline a lot of the stuff, <laughs> but this is not quite real time, but pretty freaking close. So what I'm gonna do now, this is the third video of my series. The first video was setting up the Etsy store. The second video was finding a couple designs and then showing you how I went about getting the designs created for my shirts. Um, graphic designs that I thought would perform well. I asked somebody on Fiverr to create me similar ones. And then for text designs that I thought would perform well, I went ahead and created them myself in Figma. That was episode two. This episode, which will be episode three, is going to be about setting, taking the designs, putting them on the mock-ups and creating the Etsy listings, looking up SEO with Everbee and looking up um, tags, title descriptions. I'll probably use a little bit of Everbee and ChatGPT to help me create good listings. You know, when I did my other digital online store, um, ChatGPT, there were like some hacks or something that it would like analyze other listings and help you create optimized posts. Um, it won't do that anymore. I don't know if they like patched the hacks or if they were ever really real or not, but I might try to use them and see if they can come up with some good descriptions anyway. Oh, my dog's throwing up. That's literally the worst sound. Okay, I'm back anyways. Sorry for that, my dog was getting ready to yak on my carpet. So I had to let her outside to do that. She probably ate something dead outside. I'm gonna open up the screen record so you guys can see what I'm doing. Again, I'll probably fumble through for a while, but it probably won't matter to you if I fumble through because I'll just cut that part out. <laughs> you won't have to watch it. Today, we're going to use Everbee to do some research to figure out the best SEO listing titles. So, and what Everbee is, and it's an extension that you can load onto your computer and it kind of gives you like a backdoor insights to Etsy, different than just a normal consumer would look at Etsy listings. It's going to provide you with more manageable data that is gonna be very important to you as someone who's trying to find items that are popular, designs that are selling, keywords that people are using, how many, approximately how many sales this like stores are making with certain designs, approximately how long that those designs have been on the market. All that kind of data is going to be streamlined through Everbee and it's going to be shown to you in a much more digestible way so that it just makes the whole market research process a little bit easier. And I'll go into all that step by step because market research is going to either make you or break you. I'm gonna log into Printify. So this was a design that I already did as an experiment. I personally like to do, I think it's called 17, 17 comfort, comfort colors. 1717 unisex. This is the shirt that I'm going to use. Um, and then you choose your store. Who do you want to fulfill? I think I decided to use Diamond T. No, no, no. I decided to use Location US. They had a 9.1 star rating. They print on the front and the back. They have all the sizes and they have a ton of colors. So I'm gonna use Swift Pod, start designing. Here's the t-shirt. I already have my designs created from the last episode that we did. We went ahead and created some designs in Figma. Um, I don't need the AI, thank you for that. How do I hide that? Okay. I'm gonna look on my device, Mary and write. Okay, I'm gonna, raise this up a little bit. I like my designs to be a little bit more like across the across the titties. So now this says high resolution vector. That's good and it's in green. So I'm gonna move that back up because I just had it, um, I just added a new one, oops. Okay, so that red line tells me that I'm dead center with my 
design, so that's perfect. Okay, so I um, didn't read that anywhere, but it looks like this says high resolution vector. It's in green. Green obviously means we're good to go. Yellow was probably questionable, so, but get rid of all the PNGs and export everything again. So this is my Figma where we designed the different things. And I have a lot of the same, like, I don't really love that. I kind of like this one better than this one, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. And these two are similar, but different. I'm gonna go with both of them. We'll see what performs better. This will be like an A-B testing. So highlight, I'm gonna export. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna make this an SVG. Then I'm gonna export Mary and Bright. I'm gonna call that Mary and Bright one. Save. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too. So I want this to actually be on a black shirt. So I'm gonna find black and I think that's more fun. I'll offer white and black. Should I offer? Nah. What about red? Some people like red. I'm gonna stick with, I'm gonna stick with white and black. Okay. So let's see the preview. Cutie cute. All right, now what I'm gonna do, save product. I'm gonna choose the sizes. I'm gonna go, um, image, yeah, we can like add all the views, that's fine. Image title color will be black. We'll change the titles and descriptions in Etsy. Right now, I'm gonna select all the sizes And it'll take a few minutes and then it'll be available in my actual Etsy store. And then I just wanna get these listings up and then we'll go to Etsy and do the editing. I can just, now that we have a listing, we could just copy and paste that listing and edit the colors and the look. So this is medium resolution too. I need to go back to my original and update that because we don't want someone to buy the shirt and then Printify prints it and it looks like shit. <laughs> That's fine that I picked that, but also, all right, well, okay. I don't want black though. Let's see how I can get rid of black because the and is black. So I don't want black because, I, maybe banana or like, a, that's butter. How about that? Citrus, not melon. Citrus and maybe kiwi? Nah, not kiwi. Citrus isn't bad though. Like someone wants like a yellow. Eh, I don't know, the beige is fine. I think ivory, ivory's good. Okay, I almost feel like that's a little bit low on her shirt. You know what I'm saying? Remember how I told you? I, yeah, that's dumb. I'm gonna edit that. I don't, I don't have to wait. La, 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 la. Okay, we'll keep going. I'll make another one, but I wanna go back and edit it. I like it to be across the titties, not like the mid stomach. That's weird. Nope, where's my store? Oh, here's my store. Here's my store. There's me. So here are my designs. And this is actually a mock-up um, I'm gonna pause on, like I said before, I'm not going to go ahead and spend a ton of time putting these designs on mock-ups, only because I don't want um, that, I guess a little update. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the OG Marion Bright. It's one of these. All right, I'm gonna look up this. So in demand, seven people bought this item in the last 24 hours. 
Okay. This is a sweatshirt, but I'm going to go, I'm gonna go here and use, this is where Everbee comes into play. You can look at Etsy normally and you can see all 